Okay, we're back again. It's the end of week eight on construction on our house. We left off where they were <clears throat> getting dirt. There's some of our, my one niece and some of our cousins and stuff there enjoying the scaffolding. But we left off where they were getting dirt to fill in the bottom floor there and bring it up to the level where it needs to be. And so basically that's what we're going to see in here. They've um, done a lot of work inside, getting a lot of the walls done and so forth on the first floor. This is an outside view there. That's a door that comes off of the kitchen area. And you can see where they have to eventually bring that up to outside. Right now they're basically dealing with the inside. But that's the that's how far they're going to be bringing everything out. That right there, that's the little house that we had to tear down part of to put the, to put this one up. Yeah, this is back in the dirty kitchen area. This is before they really got all this stuff cleaned up out there. Just kind of back at the start of last week where they were taking all the wood out of there. And there's the balcony that off of the bedrooms in the rear of the house. And our little church next door. Actually, they um, they didn't work one day this week because they have a festival there in Aurora and um, they were having a mass there and so forth. And so there was one day they didn't really work this week. You can see, of course, up on the second floor, they still have all that, all that wood still in there. Have that in there for a while until the until the roof is totally you know cured and everything is set good. <clears throat> and this here you can see um, kind of at the start of the process where they were bringing the dirt and gravel in. And by the time we go through this a little further, you'll see how much progress they've made as far as closing that in. Back there in the back, to the right, that's the dining area. And we were originally going to have a door there where that big window is <laughs> in my original design. But apparently it's um, in feng shui or whatever. It's bad luck to have two doors across from each other. And so they didn't want to have another door across from the main entrance. And we've got that little door there. And this is the bathroom, the CR. To that space to the left, we're going to have a walk-in pantry. And looking back out there is where the main entrance is and the living area. You can see how, how much they're filling in there. Filling in a lot, but it's still going to be pretty tall. There's a sliding door going to go back there in that area. Plenty of doors, even though they didn't want two across from each other. The little house where I grew up in Pennsylvania, we were up on top of a hill. No air conditioning or anything like that, but we had a nice breeze all the time. I always liked kind of having our, our front door in the living room, and then we had a back door coming out of the kitchen. It's kind of nice having the wind blow through the whole house, but there's a tall a window up at the top of the ceiling there where we're going to have over in the living room. And then off to the left there's going to be a sliding door going out to the front porch. In the middle where those columns are, that's where our steps go up. And 
once again, this is the very early stages. They've made a lot of progress getting those walls put in on that first floor. That's back in once again over the, the stairs in the middle there and back in where the dining area is going to be. You can see that on the very right there where they kind of chopped a little bit of that block out of there to, um, to put that window in. Everybody down there. So this, once again, that's the living room area on the left. This is where the stairs go up through. I've got a picture in here later showing what the basic idea is as far as the steps. You can see on the right, too, that window over, it was supposed to be a window over the sink. And we had them lower that some. They've opened that up a bit from what it was there. Took out a few of those block on the bottom so that we could have a, have the window down closer to the counter level and a little bit bigger. Even though we don't have a door back there in the back, I want to make sure we can, you know, it'd be nice to be able to pass stuff through to the dirty kitchen and everything into the dining area where they've got that one big window. I guess we're going to probably have like a sliding window there. They can, you, know, you can open that up to get some airflow and you could hand stuff through there. I'd kind of like that instead of having to walk all the way back around to the side and come through the other door, you know. And that's the living room where they're working there. You can see bringing everything in with buckets. They actually did talk to them about the... Um, getting a wheelbarrow, like I mentioned in the last video. And yeah, they said there's no, no way really to use it right there. Once again, just showing how far things have come. That's inside where the kitchen is. That door that I was talking about on the side. Right there in the back on the right is going to be a sliding door. But you can see how far they have to bring that all up. And you can see in the back there where they lowered that window and they opened up that other one in the center. But there should be plenty of light coming in. Lots of windows. And the bottom floor is basically going to be wide open. Yeah, except for the stairs, you know, and um, you've got the CR and the pantry of, over on the one side. But when you see the stairs, um, what the basic idea is here in a little bit, you can, you know, it's going to be something where you can see through all the way through from the dining room the back of the house to the front and it's going to be a pretty pretty wide open still got to bring that up another couple of feet there and here's that stairwell area You see that goes up through all the way up to the roof and then right now here we go this is the basic idea as far as what the steps are going to be like Let's 
see. <laughs> you can see how far they're bringing that up. Takes a lot of material. But I am. Definitely, it's exciting to see how much progress they've made. I mean, <laughs> you know, eight weeks ago, um, there's the puppy checking things out. They actually started on the 8th of May. They wanted to start on the 8th, I guess because the 8 resembles an infinity symbol. So it's good luck. There's a lot of, um, a lot of stuff that goes on that has to do with good luck and everything over there in the Philippines when they do things. And um, a lot of importance placed on that. Things like I mentioned before about the doors. I don't know if the idea is you don't want your good luck to be able to come in one door and straight out the other side of the house or what. Um, but, you know. here you can see where they've got some of that finished they've been working on getting all that finished and around the doorway there you can see they finished and around that there where the sink is going to be where they've got that wood there that's where the kitchen counter is going to be along that wall with the sink and everything so they have to get that finished before they can start putting in the windows and the doors so they're trying to get that done But they've got a lot of people doing a lot of different things. You see, it's starting to look pretty nice there as far as the finish. But once they get all that done, the next major thing really is going to be, you know, pouring the concrete for that first floor. It's not going to be quite as big an issue. You know, the second floor... And the roof, we had that steel decking, you know, which you don't have to worry about down here. Plus, they're not going to have to carry the concrete up and down the steps. So that should make things a lot easier and quicker as far as pouring that, that bottom floor. And this is out back next to the church. You can see here along the wall they got to you know, fill that in some. But basically, I think um, right now, the way things stand, I think they've basically got it pretty much filled in on the inside and got to finish that out there in the back. I think um, they're, you know, before we build up all of that along the one side of the house by the road, that's probably going to happen after they take that other house, you know, down. You know, here we are up top. This is the other thing they worked on. This is the drawing. You know, my wife sent them, I guess, to show exactly where we wanted our little building to come out that we're doing on the on the third floor the, on the roof. You'll see later where they put a couple more posts in, and we're going to have a little structure there. Once you come up the steps, there'll be a little enclosed area, and um, a sliding door that goes out there to the side where we're going to have a little bar area. And um, have that covered. Not you know, it's not going to be enclosed, but have like some angle bar coming out over there with like some kind of a clear top on it. Mm -hmm. On part of that, I think is how it's basically going to work out. But they want to get this top done, get that enclosed, and um, you know, really. help protect as far as not having rain come in and everything. That's pretty much the, yeah, here we go again. That's the stairs. That's what, you know, it's going to be two layers of that, a half landing between the first and second floor and between the second floor and the roof. So you're going to have, you know, double what you see there going up and coming out right up on top where that guy is standing. which is kind of going to be the main feature of the house. Of course, you know, we're not going to have the double height ceiling in the living room and stuff, so you won't be able to see the whole stairs, you know, looking in, say, from the front door or something. But you'll have that big opening with the glass on the back 
and um, you know, let a lot of light in there. You look up through, of course, there's going to be walls along the side of it on the second floor. And so that should pretty much do it until our next update. Hopefully next week be even more exciting stuff.